it's one of those relationships that are the best lessons. I don't see this. I mean, it's going to be a, like a soul contract. I feel like a soul contract. It, it, there are some major life events in here. We have the... Welcome, Leo. I love my Leos. Thank you so much for joining me today. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep this light on. A little extra lighting. <laughs> I love my Leos. Happy Halloween. Um, I'm doing this Halloween of 2020, but anytime that you get this reading, it's your reading if you claim it. Um, this is not a pick a card or pick a pile. This is a regular tarot reading for the zodiac sign of Leo, who your next relationship is going to be. And I'm going to be asking the cards nine questions. We're going to be using a really spooky deck. It's called the Tarot of the Vampires. Yeah, it's really spooky. <laughs> um, so we're going to be picking the cards together, and then we're going to be doing the nine-question reading. Thank you so much for joining me, Leo. I love my Leos. Come with me, and you'll see inside Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Look inside, you can't hide from Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Welcome, Leo. Um, I actually did this reading live, and you can find that live stream where I picked all of the cards. I forgot to press record, um, so I had nothing for the main video, so I have to do it all over again. And um, I... I mean, I already picked the cards. It's already on video. You can find it on the live. I apologize, but um, we're going to go through this again. So we have that your next relationship is going to cause financial loss on a massive scale. And you're going to meet them through like a counselor, through a maternal figure. And you're going to view this person as somebody who doesn't follow their intuition somebody who is impatient and promiscuous and this is very toxic this is a very very toxic relationship it's gonna lead to heartbreak um, betrayal on a massive scale a complete and total ending And I see that it could cause you to start drinking. The obstacles I see that there's a lot of change here. There's a lot of frustration. And I see that it causes you to say things. Like I see like verbal like, the communication, the biggest obstacle would be communication and delays, frustration. There's a lack of growth here. There, the, It didn't have time to develop. And I see that it leads you to be disempowered, to be outside of yourself. And it teaches you to ultimately be careful who you trust. To ultimately be careful who you trust. It's one of those relationships that are the best lessons. I don't see this. I mean, it's going to be a, like a soul contract. I feel like a soul contract. It, it, 
There are some major life events in here. We have the High Priestess in reverse. We have the Devil upright. So this is something that really tempts you. You do find this person very attractive. There's a lot of people, well, and then we have the Empress. I, I'm getting very strong Virgo from this. Or Libra. Virgo and Libra are two signs that I'm getting very, very strong. This is going to happen when you're in between a cycle. There's some sort of cycle that's broken. A toxic cycle that's broken. You meet this. But it's a very important lesson that you're going to be learning. Something that you need, that your soul needs to learn in order to elevate. This is a life path on the fool's journey. It's something that everybody has to go through. It's toxic, temptation, materialism, feeling obsessed and trapped. Yeah, this is going to be very painful with these two cards. Very painful. A very painful lesson. Yeah, I see that this tears people apart. Um, there's a lot of, like, temper tantrums here. A lot of histrionics. A lot of defensiveness. I feel a lot of def defensiveness. If I had to guess how long this is going to be, there's a lot of 10. So there's a lot of completions here. It's going to be when you're in between a cycle. It could be anywhere 10 days, 10 weeks, but 10 is definitely going to be in the number. Ten to fifteen, it just told me. There's a lot of women here. There's a woman who is um very bad with finances. There's a woman here who is out of date, uh, very self-centered, who's envious of a lot of people and doesn't build herself up. There's a uh, mother figure, a, a psychic Somebody who's totally absorbed with her creation. We could be dealing with a Pisces, because both of these are cards of Pisces. Then we have another woman who just speaks her mind. <clears throat> this woman just speaks her mind. Slick, sharp tongue. We'll tell the truth even if it's painful. 